We're going to talk now about uh, node behavior and failure models of nodes. Remember when we uh, specify a service, we need to uh, specify the interface, which are request and response of the, of the events, the correctness uh, properties, the safety and liveness properties that we discussed in the previous section, and we specify assumptions about um, our model. What is the failure assumptions? What are the timing assumptions of the system? These constitute the declarative specification of a service. Then we need to implement this service by a distributed algorithm. And the implementation or the algorithm implementing the service will depend on what kind of model we assume for the same service but under different assumptions of failure and timing we are going to have different algorithms we could also have different algorithms for the same model hmm? uh, implementing the declarative specification so what are the assumptions in the model we need to we need specification assumptions about so that the algorithm can be um, correct. Um, the model will include specification of the failure behavior of the processes and the network, the channels, and the timing behavior of the processes and the channels. We are going to concentrate now in this unit on node failure. So nodes might fail. Our algorithm should be able to implement the service even if some nodes in the system fail. There are different types of failure modes. Uh, one is called crash stop model, omission, where a process can omit sending and receiving messages, crash recovery model, where a process crashes and later recovers and joins the same algorithm or the same session of the algorithm. Okay. And the fourth more general model is, is failure model is Byzantine failure, where a process can uh, fail in an arbitrary way. A node that does not fail in an execution of an algorithm, we say that this node is correct node. Otherwise, we say that the node is a faulty node. So let us look to a crash stop failure model, which is the most common failure model assumed when we are implementing distributed algorithms. So basically, a node will stop taking steps. So it will stop doing computation steps, it will stop sending messages, it will stop receiving messages. And uh, this is a default model, which is the crash stop model. Most of the algorithm we are going to discuss um, uses the crash stop model. And therefore, whenever a process uh, fails by crashing, it will not join the algorithm anymore. It will not join the service anymore. And the question that comes, is this uh, a practical model then? In many services, if this is augmented with a way to reconfigure the system, reconfigure the system, then it's fine within one configuration of the system to assume that processes fail. Otherwise, some algorithms will actually require um, a crash recovery model where the processes may recover again and join the same instance of the algorithm. 
Omission failure is a failure where um, a node omits sending and receiving messages. So one can have uh, what is called um, send omission, which the node is working as the algorithm should be, but then it omits sending messages, meaning that messages are actually removed from the output buffer of that process or node. Uh, a receive omission means that a message arrives to a process in its input buffer, but somehow it is removed. Hmm? We call these types um, of failure omission failure, and we will not so much address omission failure in this course, but we will address a more general um, failure model, which is crash recovery model. So what is a crash recovery failure model? So a node may crash. So it stops taking computation steps. It stops receiving messages and sending messages. It may recover. And if it recovers, it will recover by uh, executing a special recovery uh, event handler. It's called the recovery event special event handler. That would be uh, automatically generated when the system recovers. And that means um, after restarting um, that node, that process, it will be in the initial recovery state, the state that is created through during the recovery procedure. Quite often, algorithm that handles crash recovery does it somehow try to store critical state uh, of that specific node. And it does it by storing it in stable storage. Stable storage is a persistent storage, it's like a disk. Hmm? And that, of course, in general, um, while you're running the algorithm or storing things in a, in a stable storage, uh, these reason writes could be expensive. We assume also that um, the storage survive uh, crashes, i.e. that um, whenever the node crashes and recovers, the state stored in the stable storage is available during the recovery procedure. There is another way of recovering a process, which is uh, instead of using a stable storage, it uses the state of other processes still surviving in the system to recover a state from which it can continue execution. Okay. So what is the notion of failure in a crash recovery model? So we're talking about the notion of failure in a crash recovery model. And this is, tell us, what is a faulty process, a faulty node. So a node is a faulty in an execution. First, if it crashes and never recovers, then the node is considered faulty. Or if it crashes and recovers infinitely often, so that it crashes and recovers infinitely often that we are not even going to be able to execute this instance of the distributed algorithm that we are running. This node is considered unstable and it is um, uh, faulty. Hence, a node that is not faulty is a correct node. It may crash and recover as long as the number of crashes and recoveries are uh, finite. The most general notion of failure is a Byzantine failure. It's an arbitrary failure. A node may behave arbitrary. It can send messages not specified by the algorithm. It can update its local state in a way not specified by the algorithm. And it may behave um, maliciously, attacking the system, or colluding with other nodes in any way. So that is really a process that is behaving in an arbitrary way and we cannot have any assumption on this process. 
So given these um, failure models, the question is, is there is a fault tolerance or a failure tolerance hierarchy? By failure tolerance, we mean algorithm that tolerates these kind of um, failures. So is this a hierarchy among the failure types? Is this some type that are a special, some failure, which is a special case of another failure? Now, um, an algorithm that works correctly under an assumption of a general form of failure should also work correctly under the assumption of a special form of failure. Okay. So it is clear that crash stop is a special case of omission failure. Omission is in a way that is restricted to omitting everything after a certain event. After that event, the process crashes, it omits everything. Um, so, an algorithm that tolerates omission failure will also work well in the case of a crash stop failure. What about crash recovery? Crash recovery under the assumption that Node use stable storage as their main memory. Okay. The difference between crash recovery and omission failure is does not really exist. Because uh, as long as the local state is preserved, the crash recovery then and omission failure cannot be distinguished from each other. So so crashing, recovering, and reading the last state from the storage is just the same as omitting, sending, and receiving messages while the process is being crashed. But in general, crash recovery model does not need to store its whole state in a persistent store. It quite often uses a volatile memory where all things in the volatile memory will disappear when the process crashes. So in this case, the recover node will not be able to restore all of its state. What we call this is that crash recovery extends omission to a notion of amnesia. The process forgets about its state. In general, algorithms that work in a crash recovery model somehow uses the persistent store to store critical data or store the critical data on other nodes so that it can retrieve them um, from these nodes once it recovers. So, so in general, omission is a special case of uh, crash recovery. It's uh, a form of crash recovery that does not allow for amnesia. Um, here is the fault turn hierarchy, which we can see that crash recovery is a special case, of course, of the most general form of, um, of failure model, the Byzantine. And crash recovery is more general than omission failure which in turn is more general than crash stop model. This tells us that an algorithm that works correctly to implement the service, assuming a Byzantine failure model, will work in a model that assumes crash recovery and in a model that assumes stop, crash stop. Of course, as we will see that Byzantine failures will be able, algorithm in a Byzantine for failure model that are working correctly, will be able to tolerate uh, l less nodes, less failing nodes 
than the ones in crash recovery and crash stop and omission failure. 